Welcome back everyone to Baldur's Gate 3 Possibly the last episode is going to be episode 6 of our playthrough I don't know, I always want to show the fingers, I don't know, it's like a thing in Japan here also You always show fingers on television They do this, yeah they do this This is 6 in Japan, this is 6 in Sweden, this is 6 in Japan This is 7 in Japan if you want if For some reason you're really curious about numbers in other countries That's how we do it uh, Today we're gonna do the underdog I'm not sure that we will have time to do the entire Underdark. We, uh, we will not have- okay, so here's the thing. We will not have time to do the entire Underdark, because there's a lot of things. But we don't need to do everything. We're gonna do the main story elements today, that's the idea. And get a very cool uh, helmet, actually. Uh, I think that it's the only very rare item, which is- I mean, it's like a legendary item or something. I don't know how to- <clears throat> It's not super powerful. <laughs> I think it gives you like, uh, what does, did it give you? Like invisibility or something like that? Which can cast as a spell, but it's built into the helmet, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, we need to go up here. <clears throat> we need to go back. There are uh, four ways into the Underdark. It doesn't really matter which one you take. Uh, I think that this route, even though it's a little bit annoying to go through the Hag's Lair, uh, gives you a pretty good position when I get in. You will. We're gonna have to find the Bulette, something like that. Oh, by the way, uh, we should probably have Shadowheart lead our entire party through the rest of this. Because she, or, or Asterium, because they both have dark vision. Because they're elves. Man, man, I've learned a lot by this game. Uh, okay, so hey, from this position right here, <clears throat> we can actually jump across. Let's so do that. And then... Remove you there. Man, jumping. The jumping. Oh my god, I finished the entire game, by the way. I, I just felt so... Because the thing is, it will not be my authentic reaction, of course, when we finish this place. Because I've already played through it. But I remember what I felt. I just felt... Oh, just felt proud. <laughs> I felt proud like a father. I have nothing to do with Larian Studios. I just want them to succeed. This company is like that. It's like SpaceX... Laurel Studios, you just want them to succeed. So whenever they make something good, you just... Ah, good for them. <laughs> it's weird to be that, right? You feel like that, but that's how I feel. Whispering Mask, put it on. And just walk inside. And then switch back to the Arcane Circle. I did miss a very, very important item in this game. I, uh, in this playthrough. Uh, but... I'm gonna show you, there, there will be already a uh, guide uploaded to my wizard where I show you where to get a circle which, which sets your intelligence to 18. I didn't know that that existed when I created my character, and if I would have known that, I would have completely allocated the stats differently, but... You know what? It doesn't even matter. Uh, there's a couple of like, expansive stones, I'm maybe gonna go down here. There's the, this is the entrance to the underdog. So I guess we'll pick them up. When we get down there... Dark Vision. <clears throat> yes. We're gonna use Shadow Art. I think we're gonna pick up... Let's see here. This thing right here. Can we? Ah! Silver Stone. These are actually worth a lot of money. The thing is I don't want to go to this because I think we're gonna teleport back if I do that. Uh, wait. An illusion? No! Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> I always click on my characters like this. Okay. Come on. I wish they, what they actually showed that, I think, is they should have, just like you can lock this spell bar, which should always be locked, um, I wish they could lock character interactions. Like, you could have a lock here, and that makes it so that whenever you hover over a character, you can talk to them, and then you can just unlock. Could be like a speech bubble, and then a. Just, just a suggestion. If for some reason someone from Larian was watching this, that would be nice. <laughs> Because I have... My hands move like this. Uh, it's normal. <laughs> normal, it comes from... Oh, no, 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 so that you don't risk an accident here. Because that would be horrible. Tormentum. Tormentum. 
and yeah over here so it's gonna be kind of random if we're able to kill the bulat because it burrows after a little bit of combat uh, sure attack this i think we need to sleep also to replenish our spells we don't need the crabs for this so let's go to cap I think that I've resolved all the camping bugs now. I haven't crashed a single... Uh, now that I say that I'm gonna crash 100%, but... But you know. <laughs> but you know, when I played... This part, because I've already played this part. I didn't experience a single crash in this, but it also made me feel happy. Happy inside. I love this game, <laughs> by the way. You can see I'm very, very hooked. I'm a little bit sad when the game... When the... I don't know, I'm gonna get to that part. But also, uh, do we save before that? Maybe we do. The fight is not super difficult, I wouldn't say, but you need to be doing one thing here. Okay, so it's not gonna attack you just because you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Could it maybe have a, have a dingus lock also? Is it like a ding? If you're, if you're about to do something really stupid, it's like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you want to do that stupid thing? Man, it sounds not so smart. Okay, uh, we're gonna walk here. The billet is gonna appear, and we're just gonna beeline up here. Okay, now it's forced turn based mode. That's perfect, actually, because now we can move up with everyone here. And we can cast mirror image. This guy can't, from what I understand. If you have someone standing here, he can't jump here, and his jump attack is the most dangerous, so. Uh, let's see here. You can dash. And, uh, I mean, make your way up here. This is the safe spot. You don't want to be standing in the dirt here. Because then, uh, then you'll be in trouble. I don't think he's gonna attack this guy. Uh, so, let's go to Asterion. Asterion. Links. And... I don't want him to be frontlining, really. I don't want the Gale to be frontlining, either. So maybe I should have put my main character a little bit uh, in a better position, honestly. Because now I think Asterion is gonna get assaulted there. Let's see. You then. You can miss this step at least. We want to keep this wizard just far away from that guy. This guy has a tendency to die. Uh, we, oh, we haven't seen him uh, die yet though. That's interesting. Because he often, often does that too. Um, but he has a special thing. We might kill him on purpose just to show you what happens when he dies. Because a little bit, little bit fun, I think. Oh, oh, we rolled good with the initiative. That's good. Roll good. Roll good. We're missing one spell here. I can see that already. Let's see here. We go to K is spells, right? Yeah, mad missing level 2 magic missiles. We put that instead of the thing there. And lock this. Level 2 magic missile. We want to damage this guy as fast as possible. We're gonna get, the, gonna get two really good items today. Didn't even think about that. Two really good items. I think we want to be frontlining with this girl. She is probably gonna be able to take the most amount of punishment of all these characters. Smack this guy and move maybe here or something? I think our main character is blocking now, so he can't really walk up there. I think he might be. Okay, Acid misses everyone. He's shooting from below, that's good. Oh! Oh, we didn't even attack! No melee attack there! That is amazing! Oh, that was not much other. Maybe I should have gone for Melv's Acid Arrow. I think in this case, since we're shooting from, from on top here, I think that could be good. 20! Ooh, we're rolling good there, I see. Well, just to be sure, we'll put that on also. And we're just gonna... Bam, 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 bam! Tormentum! Pass turn. And Yuzen. Tormentum! And pass turn. Okay. Smack, smack, carry that. Okay, he hit. <laughs> I did not think he would hit. But it did, okay? 60% on hit with this. I think we go for it, 60%. Because he's gonna burrow very soon. Darn. <laughs> Darn it! Uh Okay, so I think we want to use this girl to resurrect unfortunately. So it's also gonna have to heal her. Heal her 
Um, yeah. And your turn then. Uh, okay, we can shoot magic missiles on this guy. This guy seems to be really good at hitting, honestly. Not bad at all at that thing. One, two, three. Oh, we killed him! I thought he would have time to burrow, but he yeah, probably won't have burrowed there if we didn't kill him. That was lucky. Really, really lucky, and he has zero loot. <sighs> no. No, why do they have zero loot? I like loot. Okay. Water. Finally. <laughs> the circuit board had water. For so long. Big lock. If you don't kill it now, it's going to appear later on. In a, in a different position. So don't worry, you will have you will have the opportunity to kill it. If it burrows. Basilisk oil. Antitoxin. Take that. Seems nice. Uh here we gonna do a uh, do we camp first or do we jump first? I think we jump first. Oh, you don't have featherfall. You don't have featherfall, sir. Sir, you're a man without your featherfall. I think we'll take away sleep because I never use that spell anyways. And then we do featherfall. And then we cast featherfall on everyone. Cinnamon! Did he say cinnamon? <laughs> I think he did. Anyways. We're jumping down there. Oh! Crepid village. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to do. Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still within a different order. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We'll do that later. The thang. The thang we'll do it later. And Galio. El Galio. You still have the buff, yes. <laughs> so that you don't accidentally die here. That's good. Uh, and then we'll take a little bit of camper. A little bit of a camp. I like the camping. And sleep. Ooh. And they still have the featherfall spell on while they're sleeping. There is a place here which is actually bugged. Uh, which we're not gonna go for. Go to because it's very bugged. It was a little bit hilarious. Oh, do we kill these dwarves first? Uh, I think we wait with these dwarves because I want the amulet first. I want to get an item first. And then I think we go and kill the dwarves. Yeah, that's probably... Probably the right order to do things in, I think. Fungal spores. Fungal spores. Too much to ask for? Uh, let's see here. We need someone who can see in the dark here. There should be a path. That voice. Do you hear it too? Mm. Uh, let's see. Steal your mind. Be careful. If Concentrate. we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. Okay. Don't you love, don't you love the mushroom man? <laughs> this tells my cannon's voice. <laughs> no, it's not. That would be hilarious, though. If it was. If it somehow made an AI which <laughs> reproduced his voice. <laughs> Something. In Mushroom Land. Uh, let's see, I think we can walk through this. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, we Good. can. Looks like there was a fight. No love lost between Dwegar and Mykonos, it seems. Hells, I wouldn't want to get hit by that. Yeah, that is true. Uh, so instead what we're gonna do, we're gonna set fire to the torch stock. Yeah, yeah, there's a... A lot of things there. A lot of them. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. Yeah. That mist that came out before this thing makes everyone crazy. <laughs> it's a little bit fun though because everyone starts laughing, but maybe it's not super pleasant. I don't know. I don't know. Ignis. And yeah. Now we'll go and talk to the mushroom boys. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sings many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm here. Fire fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. 
You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. But I'm here to help you. I'm here to help. Uh, insight. Seek understanding. I think we're gonna do an insight check. That's four. We should be able to, right? You discern no information <sighs> or intention in the Sovereign's song. Ah! <sighs> Focus on your parasite and connect with the Sovereign. The parasite is quiet. You feel no bond with the creature. Uh, persuasion? I've traveled far in search of healing. Ah, oh, come on now! Yes! <laughs> Yes! Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking yeah. your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. I, I wonder what happened if I failed that. I think he becomes hostile. Ooh, that would be nice. Cause then I could can't do the things that I wanted to do. Today. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Yep, yep, yep. I'll be there in just one second. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Mr. Mushroom. I'll be there in one second. First, we need to do a lot of talking here, though. Uh, let's see here. Is this the way? Can you organize these mushrooms in a way where I can understand where I'm going? Plinks? Plinks. Blurg! Visitor, you're a welcome sight, but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses, his voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting. I don't remember mind. there being like uh, here, there's like the order of the absolute. I don't remember them being in Ballas Gate One. Maybe I'm wrong. I remember the flaming face. I don't remember the order of the absolute, but I, I think I've seen this eye before. Perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than I think before. I've seen that eye in Baldur's Gate before. I could be just completely ballers, just snorted too much mushrooms or something, I don't know. Uh, I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. I've never seen a hobgoblin like you before. I've never seen a hobgoblin like you before. Friend, I have only passing familiarity with astral travelers. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Imagine this guy with Terrence McKenna's voice. I are working to improve Same. conditions in the <laughs> Same. This Missed opportunity. Such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a Gith Yankee here. What has brought you down so deep? So deep! Uh, a mind play infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you, you were still intact. infected you must be one by a tadpole? <laughs> I have a friend who may be able to assist. <laughs> Guy sitting in a motion capture just about overboard with his dialogue. <laughs> This adventurer has an illithid tadpole. Your circuit samples? Head. Is that what you call it? She hasn't turned. She hasn't turned yet. No, sir, unfortunately. That's impossible. Not in <gasps> Mind flayer! <laughs> the tentacles still, still are doing this. Uh, are you looking to have a. Yeah! Yeah! Swallow your disgust and permit the Geik's search. As Omelon's mind pierces yours. Oh, that's not right, isn't it? Coincidence that it did just those moves. This is most unusual. The 
Yeah, Tentacles. You, you might just want to do this. <laughs> Can you extract the tadpole? No. <laughs> it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Wow. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But would it kill the tadpole? <laughs> <laughs> then I'll do it. No. Uh, tell a woman about the strange mind flash, if you will. A naughty Lloyd. Fascinating. A naughty Lloyd? I've never set foot on one myself. Okay. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Mythic Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost. they what? <laughs> okay, I need to stop it. I need to stop it. Thank you for the info. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have. But I have an idea. Let me just. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. Perhaps you should. Perhaps you should. Stop using the right tongue. By pass, what kind of a chemical are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. You want me to smoke some shoes? A fresh tongue of madness and Timask spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be. Oh no! Timask. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I don't want to be the dangerous. No! Self explanatory. Okay. We got those things. Not, not a problem. Uh, lovely. So, where do I find these shrooms? Although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Are you sure? <laughs> I imagine Lenore. What if we do. This hunt and stuff. No. Um. Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? Fond of her garden, Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Is your left arm paralyzed? Sure, you want to do this? Oh, I have to stop. I am sorry. Uh, eating those doesn't. Uh, we always said that, doesn't happen to me. Uh, all right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. Okay, so now we're gonna steal an item from these guys. We need to save. So I'm gonna mesh this out. This guy, you can buy it for two thousand gold, but why buy it when you can steal it? Why buy it when you can steal it? So. We have everyone go here, except for Asterion. You guys go here. Asterion. Oh wait, 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 wait. We need a potion of invisibility on you. Wink. And then you need to become invisible, hide, and pickpocket. You want this thing? The sap? Yes. This thing right here. The sapphire. The sapphire spark. Steel. <laughs> Very slow with this. We stole it! Okay. We didn't roll high. Oh my god, can we steal this also? Six. Society of Brilliance Travelers just. Try to steal that also. Oh. Excuse you! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! We managed to steal it, right? Yes! Stole the sapphire spark. We didn't steal the key, unfortunately. It, become, it became a little bit pissed at us, but not too much. I just 
الليل شموش دي شموش دي بيست It's a little bit sour faced, that's all, okay? That's not a problem though. Because now we got this little gem right here. The Sapphire Spark. It can uh, cost... Can cost Magic Missile, of course, you get one of those. But, more importantly, whenever the wearer costs Magic Missile, each Dart of Force deals an additional 1D for Psychic. Reaction face. Ooh, okay. Uh, what are you doing here, sir? I'm reacting. Uh, okay. Equip it. Myself. Scoof myself over here. Just one moment so you can see. Arcane circlet, go away. Where is. Oh! Sir! <laughs> She's holding everything. She's carrying literally everything in her body. That's fine. Come on up. No, 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 it's, it's, not, it's not a circlet. It's, it's an amulet. <laughs> what am I thinking? Of course, it's an amulet. Uh, yep. Yes, yes, uh, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine, everyone. <laughs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, now what we need to do is kill some dwarves, some dwergar. And now we got the amulet. Gonna be easy. Gonna be easy. Gonna be easy, easy, squishy, meesh. Abandoned. Looks abandoned. Mm. I don't trust abandoned. You know what I trust? My sword. And my bow. Uh, let's see here though. Perception successful. Uh, let's see here. We might want to have you have shadow steps instead of melt's acid arrow. And put the shadow step lag here. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Put that there. And then we probably want to get. The other magic missile here, instead of the fire bottle, because we're not going to use the fire bottle for anything. Good, and now we can lock it. Good, 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 good. Okay, walk inside here. Oh, we can see these guys. Oh, because we managed a perception check. I, I failed the perception check last time. Uh, Geek, someone's sneaking up on us. Attack! Ourselves an infiltrator. Yes, <laughs> very much so. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His fist grips an axe on his gnarled gray skin. You see the absolute's brand. Ah. Uh... I gotta kill it before you even notice me. But then stand down. Ah, attack it. Funny. <laughs> attack him. Like the sort to beg for we cannot not attack him. We can talk to him. You won't get but it will always end with a fight, no matter what you do. I think. I pretty much tried everything. Okay. Restruct some baddies. Well, well, well. Macdell, del, del. We're gonna jump in there. And just take them out one by one. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Oh, you don't have Magic Missile level 2 also in your hot border. So let's let's help you out, sir. Boink. Lock it. And as per usual, I think Gale is gonna get targeted, but that's okay. You know what? That's okay. Hulvik. Sounds almost like a... That doesn't sound Swedish, actually. It sounds like, I don't know, Icelandic. That sounds a little bit Swedish, to be fair. Wolvik. Ah, no, no, no. No. Like a Viking name. Action search. <laughs> swine. <laughs> Let's talk with that flashback from Ballas Gate 1. No, you filthy swine! <laughs> yeah, that guy, what was it? Be Beeloth? Whatever it is, it was also drama, I think. I'm pretty sure it. And he always said, "No, you filthy swine!" <laughs> Whatever you did, he always called you filthy swine. Oh, and he's lovely. <laughs> and he just tolerated him because he was the best wizard of all of them. So it's it's fine. You that good of a wizard? 
people tolerate it. That's just how it is. <laughs> Even though all I did was call it Schwine. Yeah, reanimate corpse. If you haven't checked it out, if you're interested in Marley's Gate 1, there's a playthrough also on my channel. On my channels. Uh, let's see here. Move here. You uh, too far away. You must be kidding now. No. No. <laughs> How is that too far away? Uh, it's impossible for that to be too far away. I have to say. Target. Whole week. Come on. No. No. Well, I guess not. I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know, mirror image. Fronta Lora Flitos. Uh, we need to kill that guy at some point. That's for sure. Uh, maybe do start doing something about him now. Lurgan! And... Stand, something like this. You would probably attack him then. Reanimated corpse. Done again. Where did they shout that damage? Hmm. Uh, well, I would love to. Uh, maybe I actually try to one shot this guy. I think I can. It's probably better that he attacks the main character than a, than a yeah. Then I'm attacking Asterion as one trying to say. Words are not. Oh! Ah, that was a noise. Upgraded damage from that uh, amulet that I talked about before. Adding 1d4 psychic to every missile of magic missile. Oh ho ho! That is, uh, that is quite something. The damage is done like almost on par with a fighter, I think. Like a fighter can do how many attacks? Three attacks? 2d6 plus something. I mean, it's not as much as their maximum, but you know, probably as much as their average or something. Oh my freaking Gnurms, okay. Oh, that, that was a uh, lot of damage. A lot of damage. I think we just resurrect them. I think we need to take out that wizard, honestly. He seems to be dangerous. If we just smack down Gale from full to nothing. Schmink, schmink. Okay. Okay, okay. Mirror image. Gek Cole. What's his name? And spells. What's his game? Okay. Man, this that reanimated corpse walked a long way together. Gale, sir. What? Okay, he's up now. That's good. And I guess we can give him a heal. And then walk out here. I guess we can try to push people down from there. We'll do a bonus action. A dash. Okay, you became invisible. For <laughs> no reason. That's fine. That's fine, everyone. Let's see here. How much hit points does this guy have? I think we'll shoot three, just in case we roll once or something. Just to make sure that things work out there. Man, I would like to push that guy. So interested in pushing. I have never been so interested in pushing before, but now I just love pushing. I was pushy everyone. <laughs> said, who said that, you ask? No one, unfortunately. Novice Garber. Uh, I guess we need to take these guys out. Probably. I probably want just one of them. Ah, good. Ah, Okay. Novice Garber. Enlarges himself. Oh. That seems dangerous. <laughs> Don't get too big, senor. You're way too big now. Like these guys are dwarves, so they don't move that fast. Except for their animated corpse, which seems to have can uh, outpace Usain Bolt, honestly. They're still insanely fast. Get in line. 
Okay, misses the bane there. What the frack did he cast? I don't know. I don't know, and I'm not gonna stay and to find out. Inventory. Uh, we need to give that this guy a potent healing potion. We can actually buy more healing potions, I forgot about it. Uh, but there is a... Uh, okay, we can drink from here maybe. Drink. 14, good. That's good. Okay, so reanimated corpse. Uh, Gek coal. I think we take out Get Cold, honestly. Can. Ah, that wasn't too much damage. Was a little bit. Was a little bit. Mm -mm, just a little bit. 45%. That's a decent chance. Oh! We did it. Now we need to take out the reanimated corpse. Viagra. Oh my god, we crit him! 38! That's insane. Okay. That's good. That's absolutely insane. Can we push him down even further? I think we can. <laughs> That's here. Oh! Okay. Move here. It would be hilarious if we just push him down all the way here. Shove! 0%! Oh, because he's lying down, I guess. You cannot, though, hit him 100%. No? 36%? Okay. We'll bite him, huh? Fight! Ah. And he became happy. He's a happy boy now. Uh, you need some healing, missus. And then you probably need to go with mirror image, else I think you're gonna die here. Gonna die. Novice Garmor. Oh my god, 13! That's insane! Okay. Okay, you, you run away now? <laughs> Everyone's going for Gale, I think. <laughs> Everyone just beelines for him every time. Okay, miss. Gek Cole. I think he's gonna cast invisibility, just go run away or something. What did he cast? A large mirror image. Okay. He just wanted to get big. Okay, walk here. Uh, maps as it is gonna miss 100%, so that's not gonna work. Let's see here. Uh, uh yes. Four missiles. Oh! 50 XP, that'd be nice. Nice. I don't want this guy to get snooned from behind, so I think I'll teleport here, actually. Because else this guy is, like, walking around to get to the to cave. <laughs> You can walk, you can use him as a bait, actually. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't see you there. Sir. I will smack you then. And use the absolute protection. <laughs> absolute protection, that sounds like a really good name for a condom brand, honestly. Ooh. And then we gonna just move here, I guess. And go. They, okay, they just skipped game. Oh, Asterion is the target, okay. He's the target now. 65% push him all the way down? <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Ball, deal. Man, the demanding missiles are good now. <laughs> insane. Wow! He hit! Okay, missed that one, that's good. He hit good without it. I have to say, not too shabby. Touche, sir, touche. Reanimate corpse. I think we'll actually have time to do everything today. Looks like it. Looks like it, even though this fight takes, you know, a little bit of time, but it's the only fight Yeah, I mean, if you don't count the uh, the sentry turrets, I guess. That we need to fight. Except for that, it's the only fight left that we need. To do. There are a lot of uh, fun optional fights, but not that we need to do. 50%. Oh, we didn't do it. 
Didn't really do it, okay? Whoop. Okay, and your turn. Corpse striking back. Oh! Oh, did we not get a turn with our main character before he got this turn again? That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, also very weird, but fine. Can we just kill him? We can probably just kill him with Manning Missile. Torment. No! <laughs> it survives with 1 HP! What are the odds? Okay. Oh. No, no, that didn't work. Are you fracking frackers, everyone? Things are just falling apart. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay, I uh, guess we'll try to. Just critical miss. You guys. You guys. We not try to take him out before he creates more trouble here, I think. Okay. No, no don't, don't loot. <laughs> Is that a looter? Okay, one HP. Can we hit him? 55%? I knew it was gonna miss. I knew it. Whenever you need someone to hit in this game, they don't hit. That's why you should always have magic missile on everyone! <laughs> so that this shit doesn't happen. Oh! Okay. Critical hit. Okay! Critical hit. Yep, yep, uh, we're very, very close to the other. Attack opportunity? No! Okay. Kill this guy, try to kill this guy. Good, 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 good. Need to resurrect her. Okay. Oh, wait. By the way, okay. Ah. <laughs> ah! This fight just fell apart. Oh, okay, 81%. There it is, there it is. Okay. There, turn. Yes, didn't go for our main character. Please, main character, don't fail this role there. Please don't fail this role. Successful. Yes, chocolate rain. And then the turn with you. And 98% chance to hit you in the back. Damn! Ah, yeah, just dagger him. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Quick short rest there. Heal up everyone. Uh, I think there's a couple of cool items here. I think we'll camp around the day though first. And let's see, 42 minutes. I think we can in 20 minutes get everything that we need to get done here done. We could end here, by the way. This is all you need to do. You don't need to do anything more. You can just take the ship here and leave. Uh, but, but we're gonna get some cool items. I'm gonna get a cool item in that warrior's there. Okay, and here you get a heavy armor, which... If you had Lazel, that would be uh, probably decent to her, I guess. La Lazel? Ah, oh, whatever, whatever faces. Great accent, let's pick that up. Love everything! I love everything! And everyone! I love them! I love them! Uh, let's see here, we killed someone here, didn't we? The mage. There it is. Exterminator's Axe. Oh, I'll take all. We will take all. Now, okay, so if you want to just finish, there's the boat right there. Just click on that boat and the game is over. But, that's what we're gonna do. It's not all we're gonna do. We're gonna enjoy this a little bit more. I will probably do all the like hidden content. There's a lot more content I haven't covered. I think I'm gonna put that in like separate episodes. We just target one hidden encounter or something like that. Uh, I think that would be, I think it would be nice. Uh, where am I even going? Can I see the map here? We need to get back here again. To get to the tower to get the mushrooms. Uh, I'm walking in circles, am I not? I am. Oh, 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 we can get up here. We can get up here. Get up here, right? We need someone with freaking, freaking vision. Freaking vision, I see. Okay, and then probably well, this makes seeing elevations a little bit easier, I would say. Okay, so you walk here. Sterion, your turn. 
Walk here. No, 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 no. Walk here. And the ice uh, sure. El Aladdin. Shwink. And it's join up with everyone here. Next, we need to go to the tower. So we're gonna save first. Just in case something happens, which that would be horrible. Uh, and here we are gonna utilize, let's see here. Should be a turret here. And force turn based mode. Shrink, 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 shrink. All in here. Shoot a guiding bolt. If we're really lucky, we're gonna one shot this with our guiding bolt. But... Ah, that's close. That was close, I say. That was pretty close. And arcane turret. Come, come. Come, come on. <laughs> Can't be that difficult to aim at it. Target is too far away. That is impossible. Are, are you fracking, fracking me? Okay, well, I guess so. Guess so. You almost die, I think. Because of this. Okay, now then. <laughs> now then, can you do it? Oh, thank you. Uh, hardly slow at all. Okay. Heal up. Heal up. Short rest. Perfect. There's one more turret that we need. Uh, that's not true. There's two more turrets that we need to deal with. Oh, we don't need to deal with them, when I think about it. We don't need to deal with... We need to deal with one more turret. Oh, we're still in turn based. Ah, that's why. That's why everything was so sh goddamn slow. Oh, I wonder if this turret is gonna... Sh yeah, this turret is gonna shoot us. Yeah, we, we need to kill this turret also. Shrink! Hello! I heard you like magic missile! And it did! Okay, good! And go out of turn based. And walk here, and let's see here. I mean, this girl can just miss the steps, so that's gonna be easy. Easy! Uh, you can jump. And walk here. Also, I think here's what we're gonna do. Equipment. Inventory. Equipment. <laughs> we're gonna move this Mr. Step amulet to this girl instead. Or to a Asterion, maybe. I'll move to Asterion. No, that didn't work. That didn't work! Well, we'll do this, and then we'll do... Saloons. Saloon. Sure. He might need to heal at some point. Jump across. Because now Asterion can also use that ability, which is gonna make this thing so much easier. Uh, but that means we need to go into K, we need to unlock this bar and move in the normal Mr. Step. Come on. No, oh, I'm dragging from the wrong person, that's why. Oh, he doesn't have Mr. Step. Oh, he hasn't learned it. Okay, that's why I put the amulet on. <laughs> okay, that's why I put the amulet Okay, now I remember. Sorry. Sorry, I'm very much a confused man. Yeah, well, sure. Put that on. Uh, put on this on you and this on you. Okay. Okay, now I understand why I put it on Because I forgot to pick up that spell. That's fine. Okay, and then, 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 we need the feather fall, everyone. And then, uh, it's actually quite easy. Because you now, you have feather step, you should be able to jump there. Spadank! Spadank! And let's see here. No, no, not dash, not dash, not dash. <laughs> jump! Jump like I never jumped before. Target is too far, target is too high. Target is not, come on. Come on now. Okay, move over here. 
Three more turns. Okay, be quick about this. Okay, we need Asterion first because he can't cast Fab the Step on himself. Too high? Okay, that feather step is about to run out! Oh, it didn't! <laughs> that was close. That was so close. Okay, we can do a short... We can't do a short rest. Okay, we'll cast feather on ourselves. And then we'll jump. There it is. <laughs> I'm not a master of jumping, I'll admit. I haven't mastered that arc. So those arcs. The secret arcs of jumping. Still very difficult. Uh, let's see. Can we cast another feather fall? Don't take damage from this. Whoa, flip it. Shrink. Yump. 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 There's a lot of like hidden things here and things we could pick up, but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna speed through this area and just pick up the mushrooms that we need for the main quest. Because we don't have time to do anything. <laughs> but again, I will cover everything that there is to do in this game. Slowly, slowly. We need to pick up this Susser Blossom to be able to activate the... Uh, uh, this a uh, um, elevator is what normal people call it. What do you call it? I call it thing which goes up and down. <laughs> but easier to understand than elevated. No, it's not. It elevates things, but it can also go down. So elevated doesn't make sense. It also goes down. The same. And the master of logics. I know these things. And let's see here. Talk to the power generator. <laughs> Talk to him. And here we're gonna put in the Susur Blossom combined. I don't know why this turns into a fire bottle when it does, but. But it does! The machine is making a sound. It's a very long sequence over there. Shrink, shrink. I think there's a button to skip these things. I should probably check out the keys. <laughs> Key bindings. <laughs> probably check that out. Oh, by the way, one thing that I figured out. If you press Alt, it's gonna make things very much easier to find. If you press Alt, it actually does the thing which I requested. I think I said it in the first video. Oh, I wish there was a way of highlighting items on the ground. Press Alt, it does that. It's not tab like it is in Ballad Hit 1, it's Alt in uh, this game. So, 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 that was it. Now we can go up and activate it. And let's see here. We need to go one up, I'm pretty sure. Go in here. There is a secret. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna talk about the secrets. I'm gonna tell you those secrets in a separate video. But this is my secret. <laughs> A shame, there's a little bit of a secret. Okay. And I'm gonna press Alt. T-Mask Spores. T-Mask Spores. T-Mask Spores. Boop. Pick them up. Picking them up. Picking them up. Putting them on. Putting it in. Tongue of Madness. What was that? By the way, they just hovered over there. Okay. Now we can fast travel. Okay. Underdark Beach, I have every good waypoint. And I have this. Let's see here. Myconid Colony. Now we got the thanks. We got the thanks. Now we just return the quests. And then we're done with the game. Unfortunately. But there's more to explore, so don't worry. Don't worry. There's gonna be more content. It'll be more interesting good content. Coming right up. Oh, Melum! Melum, buddy! Search for the mushrooms has fared very well. I find the mushrooms we were looking for. Specimens. Melon turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. 
You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. I mean, it's the same with my cooking, so. <laughs> Constitution failed. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, ten, yes, ten. you may oh. find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid. But trapped like a creature suspended in amber. <clears throat> Let's see here. Serenthro, focus on the present, not the illusions. Oh, intelligence. Come on, four, we can do four. <gasps> we managed the four. <laughs> That's a miracle. The colors dance around Omelon. But you stay steady and staring ahead. Mm -hmm. Tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Uh, ball of your mind from the psionic seizure. Nine, we can do nine. Come on! Mm, it's walled off. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power, more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. Hmm. The parasite in your mind is oh. <laughs> pleased with itself. Oh, Meloon, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Its power is unsettling. I felt it grow inside me. It's more power than before. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more. Okay, okay, what do we need to do then? So what's next? Cutting off my own head? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what is said that? Mission failed. <laughs> if you had like intelligence below four or something, <laughs> might be a possible option. The dial. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava. But it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but Please do. in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything? This is a little bit fun because he says the ring is priceless, <laughs> and then I can say, I have gold. My research is <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, <laughs> I have this ring, it's priceless. I have some gold, yeah. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. How much you want for this, buddy? Uh, here it is. Ring of psionic protection. Pick it up. There. Thousand gold pieces. You want the ring of restoration of gravity also? Uh, how much is that? Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay. I uh, forget that thing. Caustic bulb. No. No, 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 senor. We will just sell you crap. <laughs> <laughs> all the crap that we picked up through our adventures here. You will get all of it. You lucky boy. <laughs> you lucky boy, you will get all of it. You got this letter that I found. This bulb. This candle. <laughs> I love Sylvanas about the keep, I think. So. Give that. Yeah. Uh, do you also like uh, Wilted Dreams? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll barter. Yeah, let me do gold for this even. Good. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That thing better work. 
If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to demand your gold back. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. I will be vigilant. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Poison. Uh, okay. We gonna ring of psionic protection. Don't have another rings. That's fine. Oh, we can heal you, I think, with this. Be sure. Last restoration. Theaturno. Perfect. Now it's just the last quest we need to return. And then we're off. Finishing off. This is gonna be a little bit longer episode. I realized. But, you know. What is the creature doing to those corpses? Uh, we are going to why, why is not the... Uh, why is not that guy here? <laughs> he was here last time! Where has he gone? Odorous Myconid Spa? Dead Dwerger Myconid. Why isn't he here? <laughs> it's supposed to be a sovereign here. Okay, look at the map. Maybe it's walking around here. Okay, for some reason, when it's fully zoomed out, you can't see the topper. Pungent, Lomi, Duergar, Thulla, Frosted, Book of Spore, Brew, Akron Myconid, Odorous Myconid. Uh, okay, so... Why isn't the... Why, why? I don't know why this... The Sovereign isn't there. He's supposed to be there. We're supposed to be able to return a quest to him. Spore? Yeah, he said, Michael is sovereign. The sovereign. This seems to be. Yeah, this is guy. Yeah, so you just walk down. He maybe can just a move around. Melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze. Okay. I thought he was always in the same place, but he moves around. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. Okay, I will. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves. Dwega. Harping, Mykonid remains. Oh. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. Perfect angle. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. Lakewood. We've already been Lakewood. The, the time it takes for you to finish a sentence, we've already finished the quest, buddy. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwega invaders near Lake's edge. Cleanse the pot. Destroy them. Ah, it's already done. It's already done, buddy. We've already done it. I suppose such wicked killers deserve wicked ends. The Dwergar are slain, the rot has been perched. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace. Boosh! I am indeed the Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you And now take. we get the last item Follow for this playthrough. Which are pretty cool. Pretty cool item. Because it's uh, a very rare item. And it looks cool when you put it on. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Osa. Thank you. Bro, broski, let's open that door, ski. Give me my treasure. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. And all the girls say, I'm a pretty fly. Bro, bro, did he open it? Oh, he opened it from there, okay. No, broski. Okay. 
Can you open it? Good, 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 good. Rouse color. What? 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 It's not. It's not in there. Sha. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, we got. We got trapped inside here. Okay, no. Bro, do we need to talk to him? Okay, okay, he needs to do this ritual here first, maybe. Oh, no! Now it opened up. Good! Thank you, sir! Oh, was it on the ground, maybe? Oh, let's see here. Alt. Oh, there it is. Shadow of Men, so I thought it was on the body. <laughs> sorry, everyone, sorry! I messed that up. Oh, no, 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 it's there. Okay, instead of the arcane circlet, we want to unequip that. Shadow of Menso Baranzan. Oh, we look cool. Look at this. Shadow of Menso Baranzan. And let's see here if we... We see shrouded in uh, something, something. Oh man, we have way too many things here. Okay. We do K. Just see what it does. Ah, there it is! Shrouded in shadow. Become invisible until you attack or cast spell. That's very useful. We put that... There. Put that there. That's perfect. Let's put that. Wow. <laughs> okay. It just became two spells at once. That's okay. <laughs> that's, that's an okay bug, because we're actually done with this. Fast travel. On the dark beach. On the dark beach. There it is. <laughs> What? And this will be the end of the adventure. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Are we gonna see a cutscene also? Kinda nice. Someone will appear, and that someone is gonna be Sven! Okay. And once you board this raft, you will head to the end of early access. Do you want to continue? Yes. Yes. Do I look forward to the to continue playing this? Yes, very much so. Oh my god, when the full game releases, I'm going to be so boring to everyone else. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Board and sail into the darkness. Man, this game was good, and this was only early access. I wonder how big the like the full game release is gonna be. Like Divinity Four was like four areas, something like that. I wonder if this is also gonna be like four areas like this, or if it's gonna be. Uh, a dream would be more, of course, like 10, 15, 20 of these areas. Oh, that would be so nice. Hello. You! What are you doing on Gex Raft? I think I'm not gonna. Who are you? I think I'm not gonna risk. So, what I could do here is I could risk getting attacked by these guys. But I'm just gonna use the elifted thing. I don't know why this works, by the way. Because we have a ring which makes it so that we shouldn't be able to use the Illithid. But, you know. You know. Wisdom check success. A okay. shudder runs across your mind. You feel sated. Alright, alright. No reason to get your tongue on a twist. Well, come on. Let's get you to shore. You'll need to report to the sergeant. The rest of I think when they release the full game, I'm just gonna do no illithid. I've only done it once. <laughs> and that's here. That's just because I didn't want to risk creating another fight here, which would take another 30 minutes of it. As you cross the dark water, you remember your capture and infection. Like, imagine if there was as much areas as there is in Baldur's Gate 1. Like, how many areas is there? Like, 30 or something. That would be insanely nice. You could play this game for 2,000 hours or something. <laughs> I mean, one can read, right? I wonder what the max level is going to be also. Okay, 
But you did not want that. I wonder if the max level is gonna be like 20 or something. We go get to like epic levels. So that's probably gonna be like an expansion. It's probably gonna be like 15 or something max level. But you can get level 5 in this area. Hmm. I hope it's not just gonna be 3 or 4 areas. I mean, that's fine. That's still a lot of content. It's a lot of content. Yes, only early access and a lot of content, but you know. I want more! I want more! Are they looking for you? Mm -hmm. Amid this flurry of questions, you feel something else deep inside you. A hunger. A lust for blood. Oh, what's so that gonna be about? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Must say. Must say, was very interesting. Is that guy? Right, is it so, Sailvok or whatever his face was in Baldur's Gate 1? It's Van, of course. Explosive, explosive, and then over the... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the end of the early access content. We are still under development behind me here, so... But congratulations, very well done on getting here. And in the name of everybody at Larian Studios, I would like to thank you for supporting us in early access. Namaste. Now, uh, we take community feedback very seriously, so I would like to invite you to go to our community forums or go to the review pages on the store where you bought the game and let us know what you thought of your experience so that we can learn from it and use it to improve hey, the game. Hey, quit your Let's get going. All right, so I got to go back together with this man here, continue to develop the game, but See you soon, because we'll have much more content for you right. as we continue to integrate feedback and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sing the song, right? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's do it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the lane. Merkel and Bob. What a fitting out. Oh, oh, oh. The only thing is I want more. Oh. Bravo, Larian, bravo. Bravissimo! You did it! You did it! <laughs> that was really good. Really good, also. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this playthrough. It's probably gonna be another playthrough where maybe do like more of a completionist, like play everything, find every item or something like that at some point. Um, depending on, it depends on how long before the full game releases. If the full game releases in like half a year or something, then maybe not. But if it releases in like a year, two years or something. Hopefully not two years, hopefully not two years. Um, then I'll surely do another round of this. Because it's so good, but in the meantime what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explore some secrets and stuff like that. So there's going to be more videos, there's going to be guides also for all the classes and stuff like that. So, thank you all so much for watching, and see you next time. Hey everyone, I'm back again! Mina the genius! Men be shout out actually. Men be shout out. Men be shout out. Thank you everyone so much for watching. A special thank, of course, to all our members on the Patreons and on the YouTubes. Uh, if you also want to become a member, by the way, check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Thank you so much, too. Adam Alexis, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, The Soft Pillow, Nathaniel Lister, Lazy Set Stun, Michael W., Topless Investments, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Jubilon, Wayne, Messam Guan, Your Old Basses, Tai Tai, Eli Moonlight, Sark, Drake 2000, Rassif Fark, Invoke Legion, John Dominion, Gesasaki, Own77, Ellie Curtis, Noah BH, MC Hermes, Fumiaki Kinoshita, J Cap, Steve Dominski, Sky Super Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Danley, The McDunkin, Relegan, Chase Closed, Honza Kost, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for me, Netherbex, Musketeer, Name the Epithet, Dear Lurgok, Dimlit Nike, Stricker Mike, Huan Tu Ying, Channel Fatal Load, Adam Nixon, Ninja Astral, Optimus, Poki U, Medic Pistol Man, Seppi 1310, Martin Newman, Captain Loiskill, that's Mr. Gotti, Jake Palmer, Thomas Schwartz, Kyle Hoff, Yudu Robinson, Robert Montgomery, Salim Proctor, Zach Coyle, QGL889, some call me George, Paris Hammond, Bill Murray, Kyle Wedgwood, Patrona Bavaria, Robert Barker, Adam Jacob, Fernando Visu, Robert Lewis, Dr. Leos, Santa John, Geek, General Educator, Embracer of Knowledge, Joseph Suninga, Nate TMI, Shamanix, <laughs> Matthias Porlet, DJX Disorder, Carlos Ordines, Simon Fairley, Ivan Miller, William Cunningham, Kevin Yunye1, Limilainson, John Silver, AD Sibriosis, Yuri Lepikov, 
Isabel Nemi Lindfors, DJ D Star in the mix. Link is weak. Verokta, Dan Goodsell, Aaron Noble, Drew Styles, Adam Alexis, Matthew Goggins, Betsuma, Serge Carmaro, Freeman Stephson, Brandon Dobbs, DB Drummer, Rainbow Cake, Vantam Tanta, Piotr Stalorch, Ninja Longham, Infinite Drog, Dr. Jaden, Javier Diaz, Adam Root, Barb McKenley, But With Us, 7 Guys 777, Big Bob MG, Patrick Hennig, Liquidy, Thanatos, Nesmoth, Joe Mann, Yellow Beans, Patrick Parks, Martin Newman, Jonathan Burgess, James Hazel, Harshit Singh, Ethan, Alexandre Valencia, Lochinator, Travis Markley, Grinning Demon, Frank Show, The Foreign Sky, The Squires, I Ate My Neighbor, Utah Yase, Christopher Tonkin, Gudulape Hernandez, Bam Bam, Kevin C, Yoda for Sale, Trunks 305 in KC, Michael Brown, Mark Rutledge, Amber Parrot, Jacob Herrer, Rick Mr. Joe, Victor William Beer, Kleiner Duckel, and Dr. Bosky. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you also. Your bed shoulders are bigger. <gasps> what is that? What is that? <laughs> More videos. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> Did not work. Also, you can check out my Patreon link down below. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And see you tomorrow.